Hello again, I'm Rhonda McCarthy and welcome to this week's Monday Motivation. So let's get right into the word of encouragement that I have for you today. You know that I've been talking about encoding, writing it down, and how that's really important when you're believing God, believing God and believing the universe and everything going on in your life, you're believing that this is going to happen and it can happen. Encoding makes it real. It's not just doing something artsy or creative by writing in a journal. When you write it down, it literally, there's something that literally happens. It gets stored in your memory. So as we call these things out and encode, and that's our word for today, Romans chapter four and verse 17, call these things that be not as though they are. All right, so what does that mean? You know, over the years um, in my walk with Christ, there were times when I was kind of like, what does that actually mean? Like, not what does it mean, like you can't understand the words, but how do you apply that to your life? How do you apply that to your life? And the Holy Spirit is the teacher of all wisdom and knowledge. If you ever don't understand something in the Bible, just say, Holy Spirit, can you explain to me what this means? I don't know what this means. Don't go ask people. The Holy Spirit might send you to someone who is really going to tell you the true meaning. But you can get the meaning for yourself. Amen? Call upon the power of the Holy Spirit to bring understanding because he is the keeper and the giver of all wisdom and knowledge. In the name of Yeshua. Come on, y'all. So... Romans 4 and 17 says, call those things that be not as though they already already are. And as I was researching this word, it talked about how God doesn't have to make anything. Everything is already in existence. He can just be like, okay, distribute it out to you. So if you can get in that mindset that what you want, your new house, you know, that car of your dreams, you know, this person that you've been dreaming of all these years that you would love to come into your life. All of these things you've been dreaming about, they don't have to be created. They already rest in God's kingdom. They're in the universe. All you have to do, all you have to do is speak it into existence. And what do I mean by that? You can hear that a lot. You can hear it a lot. But this is what I'm talking about. One thing that I'm seeing is really working well for me is speaking about that thing as if you already have it. Let me give you an example. I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful for all of my bills being paid. I'm so thankful for my new body. You know, I've been drinking this tea, y'all. I'm so thankful, and I'm looking at my journal because I've been writing, you know, these things down. I am so thankful for the bleep, 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 the number of dollars and financial abundance and wealth and increase that I've called out. I'm so thankful for that amount in my bank account. Thank you, God. Thank you. It's just all of the things that I can do with those finances, with that financial blessing. It's just such a blessing. Thank you, God. That's And you have to mean that. Don't let it be just, oh, thank you, God, that I woke up today. You know, thank you for, you know, uh, thank you for my um, apartment. Thank you for my car. And you don't really feel thankful because he knows whether or not in here you really are thankful. Okay, so remember I said journaling is my journal. Very powerful tool because now I write down what I'm thankful for. I may not see it in the room yet, but it's here. The Word of God tells us that. And another thing, another thing, the universe works on that principle. It's almost like your car or the house that you've been dreaming of for all these years is like on planet Mars. And all you have to do is say, thanks for that. Thank, thank you for that house, God. I love that pretty brick color when i see houses um i've never been fascinated with like just how i want a house i want a house i want a house and i'm not saying i don't want a house there are a lot of people that's their dream but me like you know i'm a car person now i love cars but i see homes that have the this pretty it's real pretty to me it's like brick but it's like a light color like a beige or a dark tan and i just some for some reason really like that so I've added things to my list 
that for most of my life wasn't really such a like strong desire for me. Like, and the way you go about this, you have to have your energy really high. The way my energy is real high and positive right now, it wasn't that way a couple hours ago because something kind of got on my nerves. And I literally had to say, okay, Rhonda, get your energy back up. Get your energy back up. Don't let that thing, it's like a fire that you're allowing water to put out, right? So as I kept saying that, I only had to say it about four or five times and my energy vibe just started changing a little bit. You know, I'm like, okay, I'm getting back into my flow. So when you say these things, don't be like, you know, I can't stand living over here and everything. If you're really thankful for what you already have, as you call out more, it'll be given to you. That's another scripture in the Bible, okay? So the way that you're going to say this is, God, I thank you. I'm so thankful. I'm grateful for my new home. I just love everything about it. I love that nice beige brick that I've always liked and admired so much. I love that. I love the spiral staircase. I love the garage. There's so much room in there. Maybe, you know, maybe you're not fascinated with the garage part. Maybe you like the big backyard where you can barbecue. But whatever it is, speak of it as if when you leave work or you leave the supermarket and you're on your way back home, this is where you're walking into. Okay? So call those things that be not as though they are. Look at your bank account. God, I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful for that X amount of dollars. Whatever you're calling out, I know what I'm calling out. Thank you for that X amount of dollars in my bank account. It, it allows me to do so many things. It allows me to pay my bills. It allows me to have my needs covered. It allows me to have my wants and desires covered. Thank you so much, God. Thank you. I'm so grateful for that. So, today... Take into consideration what you don't believe in, that you say you want. If you believe in it, it's going to be easy for you to call it even though it's not here. Because all of this that I'm calling out, I am totally, 100%, 3,000% sold out to the idea that I can have it and that I will have it. That I do have it. And that's how it started. I can have it. You got to get rid of all the stuff that's in the way of making you think that you're not worthy or deserving. I will have it. I went through that stage already. I went through the steps where I was like, you have to get to the place where you do believe you deserve it. And you have to clear out the negative emotions about yourself, about your situation. So you got to walk that path first. Then once you walk that path, then you're going to say, I can. I can have these things. I can have these things. I will have these things. That's the next level. Not maybe, you know, God, if it's your will, we know what his will is. He wants us, he wants us to have the same way the world has. He wants his people to have. So the next stage is I will have it. And then when you get to the place where I'm at, I'm not saying I will have it. I'm like, I already got this thing. I already got it. Y'all can laugh, y'all can get as mad as you want to get, but I already got this thing, okay? And the energy of it before it even gets here feels so good. It's like, oh my gosh, what is this going to be like once it knocks on the door? Because it's already mine. It's already here. It's in transit. Okay, so I hope that this word, and I have two different lamps because I did this, did this sign yesterday for Mother's Day, and really as a demo. And then I'll get to this end probably tonight. But I hope that this message really helps you today. Call those things that are not as though they are. Clean out what's in you that's hindering you from thinking that you're deserving or that you can. God says, you know, everybody can quote the scripture that God will open up a window and pour you out blessings. God will grant you the desires of your heart. Well, if it's in there, is it true or is it not? If that's what you say you believe, is that true? Is it true or is it not? So for me, the word is true. I've never looked at the word and been like, I don't know about that right there. Because the spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, will give you wisdom to navigate the word, right? So I'm like totally convinced. And believe me, when you get to this place where you're totally convinced, it's like, it's not like you know, or believe, excuse me, it's not like you believe, you know. That's a different thing. 
Knowing and believing are two different things because a belief can be changed. Well, I kind of believe that this, that, and the other. When you say you know, I know that I know that I know. I'm not fixing to have that right there. Now, something that you know is different than something that you believe. And I know. And when you get to that place where you know, you're going to have a lot of haters. Good. <laughs> it's all good. As actually, I heard T.D. Jakes preach about this um, earlier in, late in 2019. And it really changed my perspective, like a lifelong perspective. He said, with the success, if you are not successful, you don't have haters. It's almost like a rose, and this is what he said. It's like a rose bush. They have thorns all over them. A thorn can draw blood. He said it's a universal principle. The two go together. It wouldn't be a rose if it didn't have a thorn. I said, all right then, bring on the haters. Bring on the haters because that's going to be an indication of my success. Amen. So when you start seeing it that way, it's going to come. It's going to come. Amen. I hope that this video has blessed you today. Remember, call it out. Call it out and don't let anything, including you, stand in the way of you getting it. Amen. To my nail baby dolls, get, get situated and get ready and stay tuned for this week's nail tip of the day. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all. And please remember, be safe out there.